Fora TV. The world is thinking. So when we first yeah. walked in, when we first said we're going to write a, a screenplay, we walked in, we never, well, someone had to tell us that a movie is, a, in, written movie written, is written movies a screenplay. So we walked in this store called Larry Edmonds Bookshop in Hollywood, recognized Casino, pulled that off the shelf, looked at it, Inter E X T I N T looked you know looked foreign to us. We said we can never do this. Put it back on the shelf and walked out. So we were we were like completely yeah, intimidated. I mean, not even to be, beyond intimidated. Just where oh, there's no way we could do this. Yeah. And then a couple of weeks later, uh, we ran into a guy and he said um, he was at, he was attending UCLA film program at the time and he said. You need to read Lou Hunter's Screenwriting 434. It's a you know really accessible, It'll make straightforward sense, yeah. book on screenwriting. And and we read it, and it just started making sense. And and it, and the book's very encouraging. It's not it's not yeah. weighted down with a bunch of uh, you know jargon. Yeah, exactly. and playing baseball I was never really I, I did I wasn't really I didn't like the real technical coaches. It's always felt like you go out and you do it, and you'll figure out what what works. I think same with writing. But so we had a ton of yeah. self doubt. I mean, we battle that every day, though. I yeah. think that that, that probably, doesn't go away. That probably yeah. most writers, or maybe not. I don't know. For I'll us, tell you what goes away. What does go away once you start? At least for us, I we know that if we start it, we can complete it. Like I'm confident. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I. Like, Did he just write? Just start writing something. Yeah, and start an outline. outline. Even if it's like a middle chapter or an end chapter. I would outline. I would strongly suggest out, every writer works different, but we didn't outline the first draft, and we got 70 pages into it, and we were in total jam. Couldn't work our way out of it. Went back, and now we just out, I love the outline because you're sort of fleshing it and out. And then you put pieces together. You know that you might be on step. Let's say it's a 30-step outline. You might be driving down the road, and a thought hits you that kind of fits into sort of midway through the yeah. story, and then you write down that scene, and then it's it does start to come together. But you also have to give yourself time you know, allocate a certain amount of time each day or during the week or whenever you can fit it in to definitely sit like down. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Anything, notes, whatever. It, usually yeah. we too take so many notes and bullet points before we even start just because it makes it easier that way. That way you're not just... And then you can polish it and refine it yeah. and then as you get further into the story, you know, the characters sort of kind of take over, I think. That's, I mean, everybody's different.